Within this video, we're going to create a chain inside of Maya using the mesh and the curves. This is really fun. So there's a few things we want to set up before we jump in. So let's go ahead and change our workspace over to mesh. We're also going to come up here and along the top, we could probably open up our little mash section here. And this little button will actually open up our little mash editor. This is going to be handy just to have all this stuff on hand as it were. So let's go ahead and create the first link. I'm going to go ahead and create a torus and we'll drag and drag and it turns out ginormous. Let's go into the channel box editor here. Let's just turn these down. Let's say this first one will be Oh, eight. I think that works. And then we'll say 12 along there. We need to change our section radius, bring this down. So we get something that looks a bit more like a chain. Okay. These are backwards. So let's actually set this at 12. Let's set this one at eight. There we go. That feels much better. Um, I do also want to send this back to the world origin. So I'm going to do that. Now let's go ahead and grab these faces and hold down the shift key and extrude those out. So I create a chain link. Now I do want this pivot point to be in the center of the object. So easy enough. Let's go ahead and just center that. And then I want to send this back to the origin and then let's go ahead and freeze and delete the history on it. Perfect. So now this is our link. All right, next, let's go ahead and create the curve. Now, when we're creating our curve, there's something that we should be aware of. If we have too many points or this is too long, we're gonna have to kind of troubleshoot this as we go. So we're not gonna get too crazy with it. And if it is too sharp of a corner, it may cause a few issues too. So let's kind of add in some problems and then we can troubleshoot them as we go. Now that my curve is there, let's go ahead and just hit enter. Next, let's go ahead and select our torus and let's make a mash network out of this. So we're going to mash. I'm going to hit this first little button and that turns it into an actual mashable bit. So you'll notice that we've already got some interesting things happening here. And if we open up the attribute editor and we select our distribute, we can see that we've actually got 10 instances of this right on top of each other. So that's going to work for now. Let's go ahead and just leave it somewhere around 9, 10, something like that. And if we change the distance, you can actually see that, yeah, there are a few of them right there, right? So I'm going to set my distance to zero. That's going to help out here in a second. Let's go ahead and select said retopo mesh right here. And then I'm going to um, add in a new mesh bit. So inside of our mesh, here we go. Inside of our mesh node here, let's go ahead and add in a curve. I'm going to click that. Say add curve to node. Perfect. So now we've got a distribute and a curve in here. Now we want to get this curve into this box. So I'm going to middle mouse, click and drag this over. And then ta-da, you will notice that this then attaches to the curve. This was the beginning of the curve. Hence, it's actually attached there. Uh, if I change the step with the curve selected, you can see that I can run this along the curve. Okay. I do want this to go all the way to the end. So I do want to set it to like one. Now you see this isn't quite making it there. We're going to touch on that here in a minute. The other thing I can do is come down here into distribute and I want to fill this up. Ta-da! Check that out. It's starting to fill it up. And you'll notice this is a little error issue. We're going to have to kind of deal with this. So that's kind of a problem. So as we move forward, we'll see how we can deal with that one. So now that I have this here, what I don't have is another, let's actually get an angle here, another piece that's actually, you know, coming in through here. So we need that as well. So let's go back to our original link. I'm going to bring that back to being visible. All right. So let's go ahead and grab all the faces on this one. And I want to duplicate the faces on there. So let's go into our polygon modeling. And up here at the top, I'm going to double click this bad boy because our duplicate face options, I do not want to separate the faces. I want this to be part of this piece here. So I'm going to just say duplicate. I'm going to go back to my move and let's go ahead and move this forward or backwards. There you go. And let's kind of set it. And what I'm looking for now is right here and how these two links will interact. So we'll say right about there-ish. Let's go ahead and take this and I'm going to rotate it. You can see in the background there, it's actually working pretty well. I'm just going to eyeball this. This doesn't need to be perfect. So cool. So now we've got this set up. The problem though is that my pivot point is here. So again, let's go ahead and center the pivot. Let's go ahead and send this back to the world origin and freeze and delete the history on it. And hey, we're getting closer. Cool. So next, let's go back into our curve and our step. We can make this go further along the curve. Again, I wanted to go to the very end, so this is working well. Our distribute, let's actually turn this down till we get, and let's take a look at this side. And these links to basically touch each other. So boom, there we go. It's attached. But you will notice the curve is a little bit too sharp over here, so it's a little bit of a concern. I'm just going to grab that one, bring that over, and bring that over. So again, you got to kind of pay attention to what's going on. If you don't like them, grab them, delete them, get them out of there. 
smooth that sucker down, right? So cool, now I have this, and it's actually attached. Now if I make this too long at this point, you will see that it may or may not work really well. So if we grab that in, it seems like it's doing okay there. It's gonna grab this one, and if I pull this way, way out, you notice we're starting to get holes in there. That's fine, just either A, don't do that, <laughs> set it up, or remember that in your distribute, you can say how many of these links you actually want in here. So you have kind of control over this on the fly, which is nice. Which is very cool now if you take this original one and you shrink it down you will notice that they all shrink as well so again come back in here and do distribute and then we can add in a few more and get that to work the way we want it so boom there's that so here's another little tip say i like this one this is golden i'm gonna hold down shift and just clone this off and now if i select the actual curve in there i can then create a new one and this history has been severed off of this one, or you can delete the history on it, either way you want to do it. And then this works well enough to create a new shape and wrap it around another object. So there you go. You can use MASH, a couple of modeling tools, and a little bit of the sliders to create a chain inside of Maya very easily.